Tonight, the best soccer players in East Texas took on the Rayados Reservas from Monterrey, Mexico for the second year in a row. The match kicked off at 6.30 tonight at Grace Community School in Tyler. KTK's Garrett Sanders attended the event tonight, and he joins us now live in our news update center with more. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Kendall. Football de los Rosas Ros 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 gives, lo exactly, gives local soccer players a chance to not only showcase their talents against a professional traveling team in front of local fans, but they also get to perform for scouts in the crowd as well. This is the second year this match has been held in Tyler. Last summer, they played on the pitch at the Tyler Rose Stadium, but tonight it was at Clyde Perkins Field at Grace. East Texas United is comprised of the best local soccer athletes around 20 years old. Some who are already competing at the collegiate level. And by playing against a team that is, no, that is one step away from the pros, it not only gives them experience, but something for their soccer reels as well. And for organizers, the event helps raise money for the Boys and Girls Club, as well as use a sport like soccer to shine a light on East Texas athletes and East Texans in general. It's an opportunity to bring the community together, and so we thought that a soccer event and bringing in an international team would, uh, would be a, a, a great venue, a great opportunity to, for, for the community. To celebrate not only the athletic ability that, that these athletes will will give but also the the common core goals that we all have and that is to ser to to serve our community to support our youth uh, and to and to come together to to celebrate now East Texas United gave Monterey a fight tonight but they came up short losing to Rayados Reserve as 3 to 1 but with the big crowd on hand they may have won over some new soccer fans reporting live news update center Garrett Sanders KDK news good for them thank you Garrett a